your sister and your cousin and them doing. And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? Make sure I'm in focus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, man. It's Saturday up in this biatch. Your girl and your boy is finna uh, get our swole on, get our workout on. You know what I'm saying? Get got cock diesel up in this motherfucker. Know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? What up, y'all? Another day. You haven't said that in a while. Another day, another, another day, nickel. Another nickel, y'all. Trying to add to those nickels still. Hey. But uh, hey, what's going on? What's up? What's good with y'all? As you can see, we're rushing right now to get to get over to see Jessica this morning. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. It's gorgeous out. And uh, our asses are running late, like usual. But uh, I'm trying to maneuver through the, you know, a little, little, little semi traffic to get us there at least five minutes late. Maybe 10 and shit on? No. What's shit on? Why yeah. would anything be on? So anyway, you know, hey, these last, this last week to me has been like a big blur. It's probably why I've been falling asleep every night on the couch. Mm -hmm. Quickly. I've just, just been making up for all the sleep I lacked this past week. You know, but uh, other than that, I'm all good. <clears throat> I'm sure by now you guys are probably wondering whether or not we won that softball game. You know, as you know, it was the last game of the year in our league. And uh, our record wasn't that good. It was one and something. You know, it was counting. It was just, we won one game, you know, so far. And this past Wednesday was our last game. And hey, check it out. This is the best game we played all year. You know? For real, they they played oh, some games. We, game, we played boy. our asses off, back and forth. You know, action to action. You know, we scored 14 runs, you know, which is great. Only problem is they scored 15. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let me get around this car right quick. Uh, maybe not, or not. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my God. We good. Are... Hey, we good, y'all. Wow. Really? But yeah, we scored 14 runs, which is good news. Only bad news is they scored 15 runs. So, like all the other games except for one this year, we ended up losing. Oh shit, we gotta go. Yeah, so, but let me tell you this, because what y'all saw was like excitement, right? Oh yeah. On some real shit, it was ridiculously exciting. Like, From beginning to end, all oh, action. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was action. awesome. It was awesome. I mean, non-stop like craziness. They, actually they really, I personally, they won the game. Let me tell you why, because they were only supposed to go either an hour or what is it, eight innings or nine innings? Oh, seven innings, but you go one hour, who's ever in after the hour, you know, is up, is the winner. Right. But this this time we had a new referee and uh, he changed the rules on us. Right. It's no big deal because right. we still should have been playing, but once we reached that hour limit, guys thought we won and the umpire was like, no, nah, we keep going till seven innings. Y'all should have walked away from there. That's what I was like nah, really can't annoyed walk with. away. Oh, God. Ooh, scary. They won. They did win the game, actually. And they were up and everything kicking ass. The, the other team had a horrible pitcher, which is exactly part of the reason why they, you know, they won, essentially. But no, we they won decided because to pass. We, no, we won because we scored 14 runs or 12 by the end of six innings. Oh, my bad. We scored 12 runs by the end of that last hour. We should have put us ahead by eight o'clock, which game should have been over. Yeah, but, you guys were ahead at eight. Right, eight o'clock, we were ahead in the sixth inning, in the bottom of the six. But the referee was like, hey, we got one more inning, let's go. And so, rather than stay focused and keep playing, you know, some of our guys lost focus, kept complaining, and meanwhile, you know, these guys scored three more runs. And so we still complaining in the bottom of the seventh. Actually, the game went into extra innings. We tied it up in the bottom of the seventh, went into extra innings. Our guys kept complaining that, you know, and lost focus that the game should have been over. Mm. It's technically it should have, but if the umpire says keep going, shit, we should have just kept going yeah, and, and whooped their ass like we were supposed to. But, you know, some of our guys lost focus, you know, weren't really concentrating, and so we made some, a few key errors and uh, ended up losing the game. They were, they, they were up at 8 o'clock, 
And that's when they, I personally think they should have just said peace out. No, nah, you can't walk um, away from the game. Then you wouldn't have walked away. That's technically when it was supposed to have been over. We just, y'all just happened to have a new ref. And then they were tied. And instead of just being like, fuck it, let's tie, they wanted to go ahead and keep going. The problem is, if you want to keep going, then you got to get your head back in the game. And some of them niggas were still complaining that we didn't stop, that they didn't stop the game at eight. So some right. of them niggas were like, what the fuck? Even when they were up to pitch, or to, I mean to bat, they were still talking about the fact that they should have walked away from the game, that everybody should have walked away from the game at eight because they won at eight. Again, we lost Again, focus. And that's what it was. So a couple of them guys just made some dumbass errors, some of the better players, because they were sitting there talking shit and complaining versus playing the game. Playing the game. So yeah. it was, and it was, the game was awesome though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like we were all on our feet. I was on my feet. I mean, I was walking around, pacing around the court. Half the time my back was turned because I could not watch because I was like, these niggas are gonna fuck up. It was a good game. I mean, I mean, everybody was like, woo! I mean, it was, it was awesome. So what you saw was probably like when the camera cut off and it died. Uh, you saw a rally inning. That's oh what you saw. Yeah, Shit, it, it that's was, all you saw. It, it got a, even more hype. It was a rally. Oh, it was, it was a good game. I wish my camera wasn't dying at that time. It was horrible. Yeah. I was like, damn, yeah. they missed all that. But yeah, it was all cool. All you saw was a rally. Mm -hmm. We had our rally caps on and everything. Mm -hmm. I never met that Wale. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know that. All right. Well, let's go get it in there. Shit. Well, y'all have one more softball game, though. Well, we got to play um, playing against this church in two weeks. Yeah. So we told him as long as y'all don't come out talking about y'all got God on y'all side, and, you know, <laughs> said we ain't playing y'all if that's the case. Because, so, you know, we, <laughs> we don't want to hear that, you know, because we believe you know, God took us through this season. We got all the losses out the way. It's out of our system. We know right. how hard it is just to struggle through the softball league. So he was just teaching us. To really, you know, if you, if you want to win, you really got to focus and uh, practice. Yep. You know, which we lacked a little bit this year, which is why we took such an ass whooping throughout the entire season because we had to get to a point where we realized, you know, in order to win, we got to play as a team, we got to all be focused, and we got to practice. Oh, yeah, and they need the pitcher that they had on their team. They actually started working with this dude. That was the only game he ever played, so they got a new pitcher on accident. And I guess they wanted him originally, but another team had already secured him as the pitcher. And so he couldn't just switch teams in the middle of the season, but he said next season, if they play softball again, he's gonna be on their team. But his ass was pitching some shit. The motherfucker could hit and pitch. And I was like, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Like, I had never seen him all these games. I was like, where was he hitting? Oh, we played against all him. Uh, we played against him twice on the other team. You weren't there. His ass could pitch and hit. Yeah. I'm like, damn, why didn't y'all recruit his ass a long ass time ago? But he was on another team, which is why he couldn't switch over to their team. But I'm like, y'all niggas need to, y'all have to secure him for next season because. Oh, That's part of the reason already. why they were able to... It's already in the bag. You ain't got to worry about that. Yeah, he was saying he's definitely going to play next season. Yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll do better. Y'all need to be more conditioned, too. Some of y'all motherfuckers... Oh, yeah. And that's yeah. another thing, too. Yeah. Some of the dude, One of the dudes on the team, y'all saw him. Y'all were talking about his dreads because his dreads were all the way down past his ass. Okay. He was second baseman. And that motherfucker, every time a ball got to him, he was... You could see him trying to go for the ball, but his pants would fall, so he would be quick to pull his pants up before he caught the ball, so he would drop the ball or miss the ball because his ass was coming out his damn pants. So he'd be trying to yank him up while trying to catch a ball at the same time. Motherfucker, wear your pants up. I understand if you want to wear that shit, you know, out and about, but for a softball game, your shit should be not snug, but damn, on you so it doesn't distract you from what you supposed to be doing. Motherfucker had his pants up, uh, his pants three sizes Good too guy. big. And then all them damn dreads, of course he's not gonna catch a damn ball. Yeah. Them dreads swinging in his face and I'm then on tell, top I'm of that. I'm gonna tell him about that. Yeah, you need we're to tell him about them pants. We're gonna pants. Get him, we're all get him some pants that fit. That fit? Yeah. I mean, or get, you know, wear some, I don't know, shit, do something. I wish I'd got that motherfucker on tape because 
then y'all would have seen like his dress was flying in the air and then the ball would get like right here real close like we're like he's about to catch it and then he would go to catch it and he'd have to pull his pants up first and then try to catch the ball by then the ball already done hit his mitt hit the ground and it's done you know what i'm saying so oh, shit. Okay. And you ain't even vlogging. See, I'm not even, he's not vlogging and he's the one driving cray cray. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> so we're going to go ahead and get our swole on, get our plyo, it's actually not our swole. Our plyo metrics on. Plyos don't sound like getting your swole on. But you know, we're going to get our conditioning on. So today's plyo day, you're not going to like it, just FYI. This is Jamie's workout that we're about to do, so not fun. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, I did get a request from one of you guys. Um, I did get a request from one of you guys and it was to see if while Jessica's shooting every now and again to kind of mention what body parts, what I'm working on, works on. Um, and that's why I'm doing the Sandy Sexy 60 because then I can kind of separate those out and do different things that go in accordance to certain body parts, but I'll try to remember to let her, you know, to either, either myself mention it while I'm working it out, or Jessica mention it while she's shooting. Um, but if not, that's why I'm gonna do it, that's why I'm doing the Sandy Sexy 60, because then I can at least focus primarily on whatever area, and then I'll be able to showcase some of those moves that she has me do um, singularly, so you have a reference point, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, keep the requests coming. You guys have been sending me requests of what you guys want to see in the next Sandy Sexy 60. Definitely leave those comments down below so I can kind of keep tabs and see which one gets the most votes. And then I will do that for my next Sandy Sexy 60. Yeah. Would you model for my next Sandy Sexy 60? Sure, I would. <laughs> Yay. Sure. Yeah, bet. Huh? Nothing. Whatever. Motherfucker. Anyway, all right, let's go. Uh, Get to the gym. Good. Awesome, Mama. Look at that transformation. Looking good. Look at those arms. How you doing, Avery? Oh, good. Look at Juice go on that rope, man. Serious. Come on, Mama. You're good. What do you have? Go to two? Yeah. Almost there. You just got 45 seconds. 90 second sprint. Right, four point incline and seven miles per hour. Almost there, 30 seconds. You're almost up for this, Avery. You wanna do this? Doing awesome. And good, you really pushed it this time, awesome. What are you doing? Come on, Avery, you're not supposed to stop. I didn't stop. <laughs> I struggled. But you didn't stop. <laughs> now we're doing 50 rope skips. I wonder if I can look at my TV. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> that would be real talent right there if you could do that. <laughs> Is that 50? That had to be 50. Okay. And then 50 of those, your favorite. Can I just watch them? Yeah. I'll be here for 30 minutes. Yeah. And then Avery, you do the rope now. Okay. Yeah. Your breath, your breathing. It was that you didn't ever have a chance to breathe. Good, and now your skaters, Sandy, 30. Left, right. What? Get low, Sandy. And 
take that leg back behind, yeah. The opposite leg behind it. Like you're ice skating. There you go. Yeah, and now doing your plank jacks. What? Good. Stay, keep your butt low. You, oh, Miss Booty Flompa. No. <laughs> Look at this fun time. They love every wow, minute. <laughs> so do 10 with one arm going up, juice, and then switch at 10 and do the other arm up. Woo! Uh huh. Did you switch arms? I did. Okay. Woo! Okay. Look at all of us. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you guys could do this one in Florida because you don't need any equipment really. Oh, we definitely could. Yeah. Do this all day. Every morning. Okay, so get this. Well, I'm not in front of the fan. Okay. So remember how I told y'all that them kids, Quinn's kids, ate all of our shit, including the chicken waffles, Lay's? What is it, Lay's, right? Yep. Guess who happens to have them in her bag? The chicken and waffles. <laughs> oh, they're not in my bag for me. They were a joke. I got them for my kids. So Did they like them? The they haven't tried them yet. Only Tyron had one, and then I have one. Did you like them? Did you guys like them? No, it tastes like chicken, and it tastes like syrup. It does not. Yes, it does. Go ahead and try them. All right. So now I can actually try them out. Okay, ready? Yeah. And it's Saturday, my cheat day, so I can actually have this. Okay. This is what they look like. You have to try one too, babe. That's what they look like. Chicken and waffle. Okay, right, here's juice. <laughs> Just like a ninja. Are they good? Good. You it know, actually tastes like chicken for real. You know, y'all some like niggas. Chicken for real. <laughs> we, oh, we, we some niggas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Look, who had it in the bag? Right, right. You had the bag. Right. Who had the chicken and waffles? Come <laughs> on. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. After you eat the first one, then you eat another one, and then you're kind of like, it's not bad. It's because it's my cheat day. It's a trick. Are these really? It really does taste like fried chicken, though. With a little, really with a little Lowry's like... on it. <laughs> the Lowry. Not bad. I can eat these. Not All a right. lot of them, but I can eat them. All right. Well, there goes Sandy with her chicken and waffles. See ya. Y'all know that's Avery, right? I know you know that. Did you guys notice that she actually spoke on camera and then showcased something on camera? Y'all know she's shy as hell and I already told y'all she gonna have to get used to the camera because the whole week we down in Florida. She gonna have the camera all up in her grill. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna be like this. What up, boo? <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Avery. Look at her. He's got his sparring over there, then juice. They're not bad, babe. Pretty good. Not bad at all, but I'm so proud of Avery. Now we gotta get Jazz on board. That's gonna be harder, just so you know. But we'll be vlogging while we're down there. We're sitting here talking how we're excited about Florida. Ecstatic. Oh, you in Florida? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna work out. What up, T? Yeah, he's getting his workout on. Anyway, yeah. Not bad. Here. Try another one. <laughs> at the gym. Chicken and waffles. And he's not even a big chips person, but he actually likes it. Pretty good. Not a representation of HT Evolution. <laughs> that is true. I can't taste the syrup, but I can definitely you do taste, taste the, the chicken. chicken and the waffles, yeah. We have some straight up niggas, aren't we? More chicken than waffles, though. Pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. I like this stuff. Mm -hmm. Not bad. 
I couldn't eat a ton of it or anything, but it's not bad at all. So there's our taste test. We still have the sriracha chips to do, so we will do that. We haven't opened those. I hit them. Yeah, I'll bring the rest of them in because I won't be able to eat all of them since I am. <laughs> he ain't shy, just so y'all see. <laughs> Tyra, he was behind me. Anyway, yeah. Yay! Time to go. Workout done. What's up, y'all? Okay, so we are over here at uh, Bounce U. Uh, never been here before, but supposedly it's like a bouncy place or whatever, and I guess adults and kids can go on these things. And uh, we're here for Pookie Poo's party. Got a little Cajun gift right here. Here we go. Got a little gift right here. Yeah, yeah. a little something, something. Manushka's probably gonna kill us for what yeah, we, we, what we got him, but will. hey, he'll love it. He'll like it. Look at Juicy J looking all fresh to death right. in his summer girl. Yeah, as you can tell by the way he's walking. All right, let's go check this shoot out. So here's Pookie Poo's party. There's my pill. And he introduced me to his best friend, who's, I guess a new best friend, who's next to him. That's who he's claiming, it's his best friend now. And it just so happens to be a girl. Hey! Get it! Huh? Hey, man. Hey. What's up? Why are you so deep delicious today? What did you say? Oh, you just gave them all of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I get a pill. <laughs> Oh, you got another uh, stunning purse, Mom. Uh, yeah. The purse is cute. You know oh, I love studs and glitter and... and uh, you see how she got that bang flip? And she did the whole... You did and the, the whole bang flip. And the everything that... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, hold up. And everyone's been asking me about where you got the... Sun Remember the sunglasses that you gave me? The one with the... You know oh yeah, tell them to go pick um, to um, gla gla eyeglasses hut. That's where you got it from? Uh, the, but no, I oh, got Oh, sunglass hut. But, uh, you know what I'm talking about? The black ones with the swirl on the side. Everyone can yeah, ask where I, I got them from. If some of the parents want pizza, I have that picture right here. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. But uh, they, 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 those will fit. They yeah. are not the real They're not the real Chanel's, they're Whannell's or Funnell's. Mm -hmm. Which is all good because everyone still they loves them. They will form a... Uh, well, you always forget that name. I forget the name. That's my god sister in the back, that's Sibo. That's her boo, her boo thing over there. I'll give you the name after. Okay, cool. Those are the sunglasses you guys keep asking me about. You guys ask me the black ones with little coil things on the side. Oh, sorry. Sunglasses. 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 There's my other mommy. Say hi, Mom. Are you ever? You try to be shy? These are like, seriously, my second second and second mom, second, third mom. Like, these are like blood relatives, but not blood, but blood. You know what I'm saying, my Jamaican side of the family. Hello. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> you guys have seen him before, but it's been a while since you've seen him. You know what I'm saying. Oh, you know, I've seen Manish. Why is Manish trying to stunt on these little <laughs> My sister. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All of that. That's what y'all see. She related to. Show them how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Show them how to keep it tight and right after having a baby. You know what I'm saying? Why? And why are her lips popping though? Y'all see that? What is that? Candy bum bum? Cause I don't look like candy yum yum per se. <laughs> Your lips, girl. Hold up, we're going close. I just like candy, candy dum dum. Something like that, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. Look at her all dog. Look at her all dog. Look at her. Say hi, Sarah. <laughs> 
Oh, oh there's Pooh. Hey, Pooh. Hi. Oh, my God. Hey, what? Look at my poo, his big four-year-old butt. Oh. He's like, I don't really know. I know, he's like, what the? Really? I mean, it's not a toy, like, what is this? You get to go buy a toy. Can I give it to mom so she can keep it? You can get any toy you want with that, though. Where is mom? Oh my God, he is so cute. And how is he poloed out, though? How is he poloed? Yeah, these Are you looking for mommy poo? Okay. Which is the tissue paper, like this. Here you go. I got a Mommy. Oh, you're oh, he's here. very familiar. Mama. There's Sophia, here, that's Sarah's daughter. Well, you get to do all the work of opening the present. Oh, 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 wow. What is that? Oh, that's awesome! Leapfrog! I almost got a leapfrog too. What is that? And I was like, I think he's going to get a bunch of leapfrogs. Yeah. I was so gonna get a leaf frog. I figured it. Yeah, I had a feeling, and then I said I'm not gonna do leaf frog because everyone I know is gonna do leaf frog. I decided to do something that Anish is gonna kill me for. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't know that was too much. Okay. Every year we get a big one. Right. The big one is supposed to be. The card's in the wrong box. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's in there? That was supposed to be for me. No, it's not All learning stuff, so, you know. Wow. That's awesome, Boo. Then we were going to buy clothes for him, but he's kind of tall. No, he doesn't care about the card. He's like, uh, next gift. Who is that from? I don't know. Ah, oh, I just remember when he was so small. He was a little baby. I will never forget. Oh my God. He grew up too fast. There you go. He is obsessed with Spider-Man. Uh, mommy is gonna hate us for what we got him. Don't hate us, Manish, please. I knew you were gonna hate that gift. <laughs> Wow. That is so cool. Yay! Yeah. We had to get you something mommy was going to hate. <laughs> That's my job as God, mommy. Drive my sister nuts. Aww. Yay, boo! Oh, he is so excited. Oh, leapfrog. 
Oh, yeah, he's gonna learn. Like, he's gonna be in college in two years. <laughs> With all the leapfrog you got, he's gonna be in college in two years. <laughs> We talked about the Mexican deal. restaurant. Yeah. Remind me to show y'all what the Mexican restaurant is. If y'all in St. Louis, don't come up in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. 